the ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The ants must protect the queen. The queen is in imminent danger. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe their reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Come on now, my little ants. You need space to grow. Dig, dig, dig. They are beginning to expand their territory. Excellent news. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. There are intruders in the nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected.
are intruders in the nest. There are intruders in the nest. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected.
predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Intruders in the nest. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The Devil's Coach Horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The ants will fight to the death.
roosters in the nest. The ants must fight. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. <laughs> 